Hi John, this is the drill that I want you to do before each shot. It's going to give you a feel for the three components um, of the torso during the backswing. So the extension, the rotation, the side bend. As you're going to see in these videos, a lot of the side bend, so a lot of the shoulder down movement, a lot of the extension comes from the knees and the pelvis more than uh, purely just the spine. So. In order to keep the center of the shoulder stable, to prevent the body body moving off the ball, uh, to prevent the swing getting too flat, etc., etc., we have to learn to extend, side bend, and rotate at a steady rate. If one of those movements overrides the others, the head is going to move around um, in an inappropriate manner, or the center of the shoulder turn is going to move down and away from the ball, up and away from the ball forward of the ball etc etc now in these videos my primary focus is on the extension and the side bend both videos are an exaggeration of the actual moves that are required these were done to demonstrate uh, the feels and the movements for a player like yourself who is a little bit too or historically has been a little bit too obsessed with the rotational aspect of the swing and hasn't had the extension and the side bend clear in his mind and extend uh, and explain to him so on the left first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to extend so you can see when i extend the hands are propelled upwards so the left arm is going to travel so i'm using the body to propel the butt of the club now that extension is in the ankles the knees the pelvis the spine, the neck. Once I'm extended, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to start to side bend to offset it. Now, as I start to side bend, I'm going to side bend in the spine, side bend in the neck. I've only got about 20 degrees of movement that way. So to side bend any further, I'm going to have to start to introduce the changing flex of the knees so the lead knee now starts to flex more. And you can see as the side bend starts to increase and the lead knee starts to flex, the shoulder starts to come down, the head starts to come back on the wall, and there's actually quite a lot of rotation in that swing even though I'm not actively trying to rotate. So after extending, the side bend is created by a side bend in the neck, a side bend in the side, in the, the torso, the spine, but also a side bend, a, a change of flex of the knees. The way the knees work has a massive impact on your ability to keep your head on the wall, keep the lead shoulder down, etc., etc. When viewed from face on, fully extended. Now, I've extended beyond zero. You don't need to do that with a golf swing. I'm just exaggerating the moves. So we're going to extend and then side bend. Extend and then side bend. So it's the changing flex in the knees, the extension in the pelvis, and the effect that that has on the way the lead shoulder works. So you're straightening the right leg, turning the pelvis, without extending the pelvis from P1 to P2. Then you are extending the pelvis and the chest and the neck from two to four, but you haven't got anything left to give in the knees. So there's absolutely no way you're gonna get the tilts in there that you want. So that movement that I'm making there, is it exaggerated? Yes. Is it more along the lines of what you need to feel and maybe visualize 100%? Another way of doing that drill would be the initial way I did it, which was to sort of drop the lead shoulder. So this is the other way of doing it. I'm going to side bend first. So you see that the lead knee's gone down and forward. The lead shoulder's gone down and forward. And then once I've gone into side bend, I'm going to add some extension. So that's just another way of doing it. So you need to isolate the pieces, side bend, then extend. Now in not one of these movements am I thinking about rotation. Extend, side bend. 
extend, side bend. As you side bend continually, the knees have to change flex. See how the lead hip works up and back, not just a trail hip, should I say, works up and back, not just behind you. Your lead hip is just rotating behind you too quick. Your trail knee is straightening back this way too quick. And it all happens by P2 in your case. So there's absolutely nothing left to give from P2 to P4. Hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me an email. I'll get these links sent across to you. And please keep me posted on the progress.